Good morning, Year 3. This week in maths, we are looking at finding fractions of shapes. OK, so now let's look at what is a fraction. So often we see fractions represented. Oh, let me just get my circling tool. There we go. Like this. We have two numbers with a line in the middle. Now, can you remember which number we call the numerator and which number we call the denominator? So maybe pause me and have a think. Super, our numerator is the number on top and our denominator is the number underneath. So we read this fraction as three fifths. Three fifths, not three fives, three fifths. Our numerator, the three, this tells us the number of parts we have and our denominator, the five, this tells us the total number of parts. So if I try and draw for you a lovely bar. OK, so we have a nice bar there I've just drawn. We have three fifths. So let me check my total number of parts. I have one, two, three, four, five. So I've got five parts in total and we have three. So I'll shade in one, two, three. So there I have three fifths. The important thing to remember is when we talk about parts of a fraction, these parts are always equal. And remember, equal means the same size. Each one of these fifths is exactly the same. So remember, fractions are all about equal parts, parts which are the same size. OK, so let's have a look at this pizza. Can you tell me how many parts this pizza has been divided into? Super, it has been divided into one. Oh, maybe I use a different colour. Is that better? One, two, three, four parts. We have four equal parts. Our whole piece has been divided into four. So that is our denominator. OK, now it's been divided into four parts. But well, how many parts do you have? Let's count. We have one, two, three. So our numerator is three. So out of the whole pizza, which has been divided into four parts, we have three. So we read this as, oh, well done everyone that said three quarters. We don't say three fourths. When you have four as the denominator, we read that as quarter, remember? So it's a little bit trickier because I know we have fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenths, but we have half, thirds, quarters. So well done everyone who read that as three quarters. OK, so when we look at these ones, these are not fractions. These shapes have not been divided into fractions because they are not in equal parts. So this is really important. So this circle that is not being split equally down the middle. Oh. These triangles not being split equally down the middle. They're very uneven, these sizes. And remember, fractions have got to be equal parts. So none of these shapes are showing us fractions. You must remember the parts need to be equal. Another thing with fractions we learnt about this year in year three were unit and non-unit fractions. So remember, a unit fraction always has one as a numerator. This means there is only one part. We only have one part. And when we talk about parts, remember we talk about equal parts. Only one equal part. So we have one quarter, we have one half, we have one quarter again, and we have one sixteen. They are all unit fractions. They all have one as a numerator, the number on top. So I can show you one half on my circle by colouring in one half. So I have one out of two parts. And on my square, it's been divided into four. So I need to colour in one for my one part, which is my numerator. And then four is my denominator because I have one, two, three, four parts, equal parts.
Now the unit fraction just has one as the numerator. Maybe you can think of what a non-unit fraction would have as a numerator. Super, a non-unit fraction has any other number except one. So one quarter is a unit fraction, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters would be non-unit fractions. So you might recognize the non-unit fraction here is the three quarters because it has three as its numerator. One half and one quarter both have one as the numerator. So they are unit. So just remember when we talk about unit, the numerator is always one. When we talk about non-unit, the numerator is any other number. Okay, so I've got some fractions on the screen. I'd like you to identify which ones are unit fractions for me. Remember to pause if you need some more time. Super. The non-unit, sorry, the unit fractions, excuse me, are one-fifth and one-tenth because they both have one as a numerator. Next, I'd like you to identify the non-unit fractions for me. Remember to pause again. Super. The non-unit fractions are three quarters and two thirds. Okay, you might be wondering why I didn't circle four fourths two halves and three thirds as non-unit fractions because technically they are yes they are non-unit fractions as they both they all have numerators more than one but they're also something else i wonder if you can think about what else they are something you might notice about them so from looking carefully let my eyes up there i wonder if you can notice anything yes the numerator and denominator are the same so that means the number of parts we have is the same as the whole number of parts, which means we don't have part of something. If we've got all the parts, we've got the whole thing. So we have one whole. We've got all four parts out of four, we've got the whole. We've got both parts out of two, we've got a whole. We've got all three parts out of three, we've got a whole. So excuse my ones, they look a bit funny there, but these fractions are all the same as one whole. Okay, so you might want to pause here, have a go at these questions, and then have a look as I go through them. So I've got my little toolkit on the right view. So when we're finding fractions of shapes, first of all, we count the whole number of parts, and this gives us our denominators. So for my circle one, two, I have two parts, so that's my denominator. Then I count the number of parts shaded, one. This is my numerator, so I have one half. That is also a unit fraction, as it has one as the numerator. Now let's go on to my square. I have one, two, three, four parts. So I write that as my denominator. How many are shaded? One. So I write that as my numerator. Again, this is an example of a unit fraction because one is my numerator. Now I want you to pause me and have a go at doing the rest of these fractions. Super, and the last one, let me count up. One, two, three, four, I have four parts. So my total number of parts is four, my denominator. One, two, three are shaded, mark them off as I count them. So my numerator is three, so I have three quarters. Hopefully you've got them all correct. Really well done. Okay, on your home learning sheet this week on the Lark Hall website, you have some questions that can set about finding fractions of shapes, and there'll also be some on Seesaw for you to complete too. So for this particular question, you're being asked to shade two fifths of this bar green and three fifths blue. So our denominator is five. So if I count, I can see one, two, three, four, five. You can see my whole number of parts is Five, so my total number of parts is five. So I need to shade two fifths below, sorry, green. Ooh. So I'm going to colour in one, two, green. Obviously, colour in a lot neater than my colouring. And then three fifths blue. So I need to colour in one, two, three, blue. It's not my best colouring, but I've coloured in two fifths green and three fifths blue. So in total, I've coloured in all five fifths. 
Okay, we've done some fantastic revision year three of our fractions so far. And as I said before, there will be activities on Seesaw to complete, and you'll also find it on the home learning section on the web school website. As well as that, here are some ideas for you to do at home to do fractions. Now, if you've got any toys, particularly Lego is brilliant for this, because you can see you can actually count here on this Lego, we have you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight of those lumps, so if you find a piece with four, that is half the size. So that is half of your orange piece. So Lego is a really good way, but straight away you can do lots of fun fraction games of it. It's really important when you're building, you've got the right sizes. Now, if you don't have anything like that, I'm sure we're all eating and we have some food. So a great one, Atty Parents and some pizza. And you could have a go at chopping up the pizzas, maybe into thirds, maybe into quarters, maybe into fifths, depending on how many people you're sharing between. But remember, they need to be equal sizes. Fractions must be equal. And lastly, if you've got any paper, you know, some paper, and you can make that into your own fraction charts. So we've got some strips here, which have been folded into quarters, into thirds. You can see you've got different ways of folding paper into quarters. You've got one, two, three different ways on there. So you can have a play around and explore and take photos and upload onto Seesaw any different fractions you have found. The important thing to take away is fractions, our fractions are always equal sizes. So remember when you're chopping that pizza, it's got to be equal sizes. Okay, have a lovely week, Year 3. See you next week.